All right, guys, Dank the Muffin Man is back today to watch some Tyrion Eternity episode 6. First of all, welcome to all you new viewers, regular viewers, and subscribers. I hope you enjoy your stay here today. Let's see what's up, huh? March is dead. Well, second human death push you had witnessed. And she get yeeted, boys. Flicking go. <laughs> get the flick of higher, see. Yeah, we'll, we'll be seeing more of of of, of higher so trying to get revenge. Yeah. She became slightly more human like. Left with only her, her lingering scent, it's set off. Okay. Pushy walk seeking more stimulation. He spent most of his time in wolf's form. Is wolf's form just his most comfortable form? This helps to choose the next destination. Oh, okay, okay. It's always felt like Wolf is his most like comfortable form. I guess because it's in that form it felt. Wait, what? It felt. It felt. It didn't take the bear's form. Oh, because he's always he always feels the arrows in him. So he of course he hates it. Huh? He's he's always in pain when he's in that form. He, he feels the pain that that bear felt in that state. But there was little reason to. The wolf is the most is the most helpful. Become hungry but take on mushrooms. That way he could climb which is so oh so he he could he could do what March do, he, he could climb like March. And then it came across a familiar scent. The granny, right? Our goals. Huh. Alright. Let's see how, how uh, this goes goes to shit. Yeah, that's probably gonna be quite creepy. Was lost for three days and nights. Uh, okay. So, in my case, I feel like if I saw March back, I would, I could tell some draw because of the color of the eyes. Like, the color of the eyes of March changing like that would be a big giveaway, but I, I guess nobody's gonna talk about the eye color change from the regular March to this March. Yeah, that is Fushi. Oh god. That's... that's the spot. Hmm. Is he gonna sleep there? And you know what's the interesting thing is he acts like he can't hear you and he and he's ignoring you, but he's taking in every single word you say, every single thing you say, every action you make, he is uh recording it, he's memorizing everything you do, even though it looks like he's just ignoring you. Oh my god, she's she's lost it. Um, the flick you're doing. <laughs> She's that hungry. More of that fruit. So Matthew's voice actor just has to make noises now and can't talk. <laughs> what the flick? Her voice actor is so good, this this shaman. I can't remember her name, but I call her the shaman for now. And the parallels. <laughs> she she's doing the same thing. Like she's she, Fushi 
uh, Fushi Match is, is acting just like Match, and Shaman is acting just like Fushi did. So yeah, so Match's voice actor has to now, no, no, no talk like that after being so damn, damn expressive. I mean, it kind of feels like he'll he, he'll always have a companion. I, I I feel like that would give him something to live for, being close to somebody and living life with them, because that's what he's always been doing from the very start. He's always had somebody with with him before they pass away. And I feel that that'll keep happening. As he's an immortal and they have to pass at some point. She might the shaman here might very well just pass of old age. After a few years, maybe. <clears throat> Stimulation. I, I, I feel like they'll 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 be together for a while. And he's basically doing what March wants wants to do. Be that's that's March as well. So he's basically basically like a kid just drawing shit. <laughs> he's basically like a child. Look at his face. He's so confident. <laughs> he's just writing crap. Just 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 put his drawing on, on the fridge right now. This is this is just Put his drawing on the, on the fridge right now, cause that's what he wants. Yeah, so this shaman lady will be the perfect teacher. He's acting like he didn't hear her, but he did. This is probably like so stimulating to him, so he can write his name. P R P O R A N. Okay. A pure run, it's a tree. And look at how much joy it brings him to, to, um, to just be understanding everything. He enjoys learning, huh? He, he, he likes to learn shit. Every single thing. He's still, he's still, he's still, he's still like a dog. <laughs> right now, Fushi's ab ability to absorb shit and copy, oddly enough, is like a super baby. You you know how a baby could like pick up on shit. He he's like has the abilities of a baby to pick up on this environment, but times that by a hundred, basically. At, at least it's taken him a while to learn how to speak. <laughs> <laughs> this is so good. Oh god. So from mother to teacher, huh? <laughs> this is so fun to watch. Seeing like seeing seeing him learn shit is quite fascinating to see. To grow up is to learn. I don't think he can grow up though. Does his body even age though? I, I, I don't think his body ages because he's just stuck in the, the state that the person he copied is. What the person he copied is, or the person he copied, or the thing he copied, he, he's, he's stuck in that state and he can't. It, it doesn't change. He's, he, he, his leg is still in this injury. His leg is still injured. Or oh, it's still bloody. So I don't think he can grow up. I would have loved. I wonder how this song would sound like in, in the dub. His like broken ass speech. I hope this stays for like. At these two episodes, oddly enough, I don't mind him catching his ass to learn how to speak. I, I hope it doesn't clear up at the end of the episode. Of course, if it does, well, it does, but 
it'll be a, a more pleasant to see him struggle to, to um, speak in various forms. Huh, I like how the how the how the how the title how the title screen there now has uh all the people who he's accumulated or things he's accumulated. The boy, the wolf, match, and the bear. But the him and but the boy and the wolf are in this enclosed space, so that's more important to him. Yeah. That's this connection he has to the to the boy is more important. Cause that's his foundation, yeah. I, I didn't think he would be formulating these sentences, but did did they skip out like his a bit of his speech development? Because anime and you can't really I really wish they would they would um make uh, we did see him develop speech because this lady would be teach would be teaching him uh words within the montage and uh that's 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 her function. But I kinda wish they would like linger more on his speech development, but uh, they gotta get a move on. My lover home is this way. Ew. Go there first. Now he'll ask, what is love? And he doesn't know, he doesn't, doesn't know what the flick love is. Hmm. What the flick is this? Is that a tree growing? Kind of spirit or something? Or is this a monster? Oh wait, is this the creator? It's the same voice actor as, as the orbs creator. Someone's coming to my my gun to play. What the flick? Yo, what the flick? It's flesh is from different. It tries to take. It tries to take on the form of the boy with to no avail. What the hell? Did he lose the boy's form? He took. Did he take the boy's form? Oh, he's pissed. Oh, God. So, this is the guy from, from the opening. This is the creator. What the flick? You can surely hear my voice. What does it feel to have lost part of yourself? That boy, the shape is sound, his scent. It's a stand you can't recall what it, do, what it is that it took from you. But you must have noticed the emptiness that just comfort. Okay, so the creator is acting as the villain? Uh, kind of? Can he do? Will he actually do it though? He does do it. What the flick? Did he lose the wolf too? He lost the wolf. Not the bear. That still is the vessel you've collected. Then the death of a weakening. Why? Why? It's a failure. It's. Wait, what? That is designed with 
the weakening with the objective of weakening you. He so this so the creator he this entity made some, some made some something to be an obstacle to him. It's a failure of life, incapable of becoming an animal. So it steals from other life. Then he's gonna lose everything then. But it's a Delta stealing. Instead it is everything is stole from me. So he's forcing him to So that's the arrow in it. What the flick? Took the arrow. Please for the love of God don't don't impale match. God. Oh God. Don't do please. Thank God I didn't impale my that would have broken my heart. Oh my god, what the flick? Oh that was close. Okay, so the creator of the orb is just doing this because he wants to test it. And he will continue to test it. I I don't think think the I don't think that, that its creator is evil. I think he's just being um he wants to push this evolution. It's just, it's the entity is the creator, it's, it's it's its own curiosity to see what this thing could do. If I intervene, if I push it, what will it be capable of? That, uh, he has to have some kind of adversity because no human could face him. Right? No human could face him on a physical level. So, it's gonna have to be its own creator, right? Do you eat that or something? Oh, he just guessed it back. He remembers the boy. That thing, that tree monster that was created is deadly though. I'm your maker. Okay, so you compose it. What, we have a grand objective. We, you mean you, to preserve this world. What? And this entity was sent to, and this entity was sent to this world to impede our objective. So wait, so this so this So this and this a tree monster shit is not his own creation? Some something else is just here to impede on it? It's not the maker's creation, but something else. Our objective. I come to speak with you again. We shall have. We shall have fun. Our objective. Until the coming end. Huh. So we'll be seeing more of that tree monster demon thing. It's a failure of life. What does that mean? Did did he put more orbs on the earth and they failed? They failed to become something? It, it, are they all failed Fushis, essentially? I'm not too sure what to think of the tree monster. It can't become life, so it steals from life. Constantly, it constantly steals from life. That thing is... Our threat to humanity itself. That thing could end and the end everything. Cause it's gonna steal from life itself. Not from, from not from it's gonna, it's gonna steal from 
everything. Huh, well, you're quite happy about I don't see again he, he doesn't understand what just happened to him there. He just wants wants his previous selves back. His uh his family essentially. Good man. This is a guy who we saw in the opening a lot. It's a guy, huh? Pure run. An immortal too. Huh, so many questions. Um I don't think I'm not really too sure I don't really get a villain vibe from uh from the creator or the or the maker. He didn't give himself a name yet. I get more of a observer type vibe. You you know the observer type of of anime character. That's what I get from 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 the maker. And this tree entity also is not part of his creation. Um, only Fushi is. Or maybe the tree entity is a fifth creation that's not going along with what the its maker wants, and it's just a failure. Um, he said that he says a failure of life, but again, I'm not really too sure what to think about that. Um, so he's not he's not a villain. The villain of the series is this failure of life that keeps stealing and stealing and stealing, and it, it instinctually does that. It was there already, but it when he stole from Fushi. It didn't steal from anybody else, so let's just hope that it doesn't steal from humans. Cause it could just take a human life and just take another one, take another one, take another one, cause it, it know it doesn't know to how to stop. <sighs> that thing is more dangerous than Fushi. I thought Fushi was the most dangerous and like entity on the on Earth, but this plant monster shit. If that's not the only one, um most likely that's not the only one then we are in for some trouble all right thank you for watching guys i'll see you next week for more to your eternity goodbye so long i farewell goodbye is out